So I'd like to introduce our first speaker. Her name is Clara Leppert. Clara graduated with high honor from the College of Natural Science at Michigan State University in 2017 with a bachelor's degree in zoology and a minor in environmental and sustainability studies. Her concentration is in ecology, evolution, and organismal biology. She's been involved in research at MSU since high school and has worked in seven different labs, ranging from uh, working on invasive species control to olfactory evolution, the evolution of our sense of smell. She is here today with her mentor, Assistant Professor Bob Montgomery, Director of the Research on the Ecology of Carnivores and Their Prey, or the RECAP Lab. Clara was awarded the Rhodes Scholarship in November for her work with the RECAP Lab. And she will be starting her master's degree this fall at the University of Oxford, studying the ecology of lions and conservation biology. Clara, welcome. Thank you. I brought a friend, so I'm just setting him up real quick. So good morning, everyone. Um, firstly, I'm honored to be here today, and I appreciate your interest in my work. Um, I also appreciate everyone who's here today to give voice to survivors and support them. Um, I, I came to MSU because I believed it would best prepare me for a career in wildlife ecology, and I'm happy to know that it's a topic the board cares about as well. Um, as Dr. Zhu mentioned, I was awarded the Rhodes Scholarship and I'm on my way to Oxford this fall. Uh, the Rhodes intends to help people who will be innovators in their field and show a capacity for leadership worldwide. The work that I've done here at MSU has prepared me to be a leader as the field of wildlife conservation grows and undertakes massive change. As, uh, as the child of two actors, my entire life has been an intersection of art and science, and I've carried that value for synergy with me. Um, it's one of the things that makes me unique, and I think it's reflected in the work that I've done so far. Uh, while I've worked in a variety of labs at MSU, the most meaningful project that I've been involved with is the Snares to Wares initiative. This program, based in Dr. Montgomery's recap lab in the Department of Fisheries and Wildlife, develops progressive conservation philosophies by addressing the human livelihood problems that lie at the heart of these issues. For example, throughout East Africa, wildlife are threatened by wire snares that are set to capture bushmeat in national parks. And now uh, Dr. Montgomery and I will do a quick example of a snare uh, at work, as it would in the field. So imagine this wire is attached to a tree and that Dr. Montgomery is an animal passing by and then you pull away. As you can see, the further he walks away, the, the tighter he's held. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So these traps are set by people who cannot afford meat, who are driven to subsistence poaching to survive. Uh, they are intended for antelope, but unfortunately they kill and injure wildlife indiscriminately. Uh, at present, our team estimates that 40% of the lions in Murchison Falls National Park have snaring injuries. So our team, uh, made up of MSU graduate students, researchers, and rangers from the Uganda Wildlife Authority, removed these wires from the park. Uh, this protects wildlife from being ensnared, but it doesn't address the root of the problem, so more still has to be done. So, we take these wires back into the village of Pakwach, next to the park, and put them into the capable hands of local artisans. They create beautiful sculptures of wildlife, like this one that you see before you. By selling that art to us and in the local marketplace, they can provide support for their families and not be driven to subsistence poaching in the first place. This initiative is nearing three years old, and we already support 250 artisans uh, in Pakwach and the surrounding villages. Uh, I got to spend three months uh, in the field last summer, and this experience taught me much about transitioning from theoretical science to applied science. Conservation presents a host of complex problems, and addressing those problems requires a host of skills. It's no longer enough to study animals and people in isolation and theorize on their possible connections. 
Wildlife ecologists like me must work hand in hand with those who specialize in fields like social work, policy, business, and the arts. This interdisciplinary philosophy is the foundation of the Recap Lab's work. Emblematic of that vision, this semester we've launched the Snares to Wares course in the Innovation Hub. And this was a, a brainchild of Dr. Montgomery, so I gotta give him a shout out. Um, <laughs> Uh, students from different majors and colleges are working together as business operators on this initiative and learning how to work and collaborate together toward a common goal. Uh, already, these students have organized multiple events across campus, generated thousands of dollars in fundraising, and crafted personal reflections on their growth as professionals and as people. Through these experiences and my involvement with the Snares to Wares initiative, I've learned what will make MSU different from research institutions worldwide. Uh, it's, it's developing progressive conservation philosophies. It's embracing human capacity and building upon it by including local communities at every level of involvement. It's uh, a philosophy that recognizes that wicked problems demand interdisciplinary solutions, recruiting and supporting host country students. This is the vision that I'll carry with me moving forward at Oxford and beyond. The future of conservation is different. It challenges our understanding of the world and strives for sustainable, tangible impacts. But who will embrace the challenge? And who will be the future of conservation? Spartans will. Thank you very much for your time. Any questions of Clara? Anybody have a hand? Well, I'm happy to answer I any questions. I will just say, I believe you had a booth or a demonstration at Autumn Fest. If I remember right, the, the snares. I, re I remember yes. seeing. Yeah, we've been at a, at, a, at a number of events, so you've probably seen I, us around I think campus. That's where I saw the yeah. <laughs> Claire, can we buy team. the art somewhere? Hmm? Can we support? Yes. How yes. Can we support? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so we're currently working on an online marketplace, but in the meantime, you can email either myself or Dr. Montgomery, and we are happy to arrange sales. We're also um, in connection with several zoos across the country that are offering them in their gift shop, and we're collaborating with Cass Community Services in Detroit. And they'll also be helping us sell the wares themselves. Thank you. Good. Thank and, you. and the money you're raising for the project <coughs> itself is that different? Is that is that supporting what the travel or the? Uh... It's so the first thing that happens with any money in the initiative is we pay the artists up front for any art oh, that I they see. provide. Okay. So they're they're the first priority. <laughs> Um, but then any, any other funds that we get from selling the art here go into the initiative, uh -huh. go into supporting researchers and the people who make it all happen in the field. Is this, I mean, I know the park you're working in is in Uganda. Is it, is it pretty much the same in the other parks as well? Wildlife snaring is, is definitely a, a growing issue in parks across East Africa, but Murchison Falls National Park, yeah. um, where this is based, is definitely, I would say, the, um, the hot spot within the region for snaring. Yeah, it's, it's, really, it's really impressive work that you've done. And Thank congratulations you. Congratulations on your, uh, just your success and the recognition of the scholarship. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate it. it.